find n dash if central maxima shifts n times fringe width so i just simplified the <laughs> the problem statement here because i was lacking some space so what happens is we have uh, two containers so this one has air initially both had air so obviously central maxima was forming here and now air was removed and ammonia was introduced here and it was observed that central maxima shifts n times fringe width so what is the refractive index of ammonia that is the problem this length is given and this d is actually not given in the problem we are just assuming this value to be d so for central maxima let's find the part difference for both the rays and when we equate that part difference to zero that's where we will get central maxima so why we will have a part difference it will be due to the different mediums so we have already derived it in previous problem that equivalent path length when when the rays passing through this uh, through a medium is given by refractive index of the medium into path length into slab length so let's write for ray 2 from c to o so this is the ray 2 from this point c to this point o path length is nl plus do so nl due to the medium and do due to the geometry so we are just taking a random random point at a distance y from the center from the axis now similarly for ray 1 the optical path length is n dash l due to medium plus this length bo so now the difference of that so part difference at o due to the two rays delta x is this distance cdo minus abo so that is this minus this sorry this minus this so that is nl plus do minus n dash l plus bo so we rearrange this becomes n minus n dash into l plus do minus bo now do minus bo is the geometrical part difference and for a point which is at a distance y from x is that is given by dy by d so delta x is n minus n dash l plus dy by d so this is our equation so if we put the value of delta x to be 0 we get the location y where we have the central maxima so that's what we'll do for central maxima delta x becomes 0 and in the problem actually uh, they have given that central maxima shift n times fringe width so y is n times fringe width so fringe width is lambda d by d so we put that and you will see that capital d and small d both will get cancelled and we will get our answer n dash is equal to n lambda by l plus n so that is how experimentally we can find the refractive index index of a gas and suppose instead of central maxima so basically this equation so if you put delta x is equal to n lambda you will get the position of different y's for constructive interference and if you put delta x is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 you will get the positions where you will have minimas all right